Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 4 of Book 1, which states that if you have two triangles, and in this case I've labeled them ABC and DEF, where one side of the first triangle is equal to one side of the second triangle, and there is a second side of each triangle that are equal in length, and if the angle between these two sides are equal, then the two triangles are equal in all respects. In other words, the third side is going to equal the third side, and the angles opposite the equal sides, in other words, AB is equal to X, has an angle beta, which means that if DE is equal to X, it has opposite the angle beta. So all the angles are equal, the area is equal, and the sides of the triangles are equal. To demonstrate this, we're going to simply translate ABC or move ABC on top of the triangle DEF. First thing we do is move our triangle so that A coincides with the point D. Now we rotate our triangle ABC so that AB lies on top of AE. Now if we look at our lines A, B, and D, E, they are equal in length, and because they are equal in length, that means that their endpoints must also coincide with one another. So these two points, D and A, coincide with one another, as do the two points E and B. If we look at the angle alpha, alpha is again equal in both triangles which means that AC and DF will also lie along the same direction. And because the, those two lines are again equal in length, the endpoints must also be congruent. DA and CF coincide with one another. Now finally, since we've already established that C and F coincide with one another, and E and B coincide with one another, then the line CB must also lie along the line FE. Now this is based on an assumption from Euclid that he didn't explicitly state, which is if you have two points, C and B, that there is only one path a straight line can take between them. So if C and F, E and B are the same, then any straight line that passes between those two points must also be the same as any other line that passes between those two points. And thus we have demonstrated from common notion number four that our two triangles are equal in all respects since any, anything which coincides with one another equals one another. That's common notion number four. So to summarize, if we have a triangle or two triangles where the side angle sides are equal, then those two triangles are equal in all respects. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.